Hey everybody, final thoughts time for turn A. Now let's keep this short and sweet. This is a fantastic game. I mean, it, it offers so much in such a little package. I mean, don't be fooled by this box. This game is just a deck of cards and some meeples and some tokens. You don't even need this thing. This is, uh, you can use it um, for tracking score at the end of the game, but otherwise it, it really serves no purpose. And you know, it's, this is a 30 to 60 minute game. I would totally believe that. Plays great with two, three, or four. Wonderful in every regard. So, Satisfying. That's really, I think, um, the thing this game does so well. As you build your little district, and you, you know, it's like it's like a clockwork mechanism. You get all the things into the right position, so that when you're activating it, you create this little, you know, financial engine, or you know, um, it, it just feels great when everything comes together. And then the events hit you every once in a while and slow you down, but you can prepare for them. You can use, you know, really, really wonderful. And you'll know, be some really big surprising moves if. I knew I was going to do this this turn, but oh no, my opponent paid me two bucks to use my worker, and now, you know, so great on so many levels. I only have one complaint about this game, and it's actually a fairly significant one, because to be, to be honest, um, you know, when we first got the game, Jen hated it. She really, really hated this game. And the second time we were playing all the way through, she wouldn't even finish it. She just, you know, she quit in disgust. And in fact, I mean, you know, we haven't really played it since then, but I knew I was going to do a run through. So I got out the other day again to play and I was really worried about it. And, I, you know, and this time she actually made it through. She was still kind of eh, about it, but you know, she made it through. And I think with a couple more plays, she'll be 100% comfortable and she'll love the game as much as I do. Because she admits the game itself is great. The mechanics are fantastic, very you know, fun, very fluid, very empowering. But the one flaw this game has, and it's a big one, is this player aid. Because here's what they did. You know, I, I don't blame them for wanting to be language independent. Obviously, it cuts down on printing costs. It lets it go into, into more um, markets and all that. That's great. That's fine. But what they did is, you know, is they made all these language independent cards full of icons. What every other game in the universe does when they do this, including Twa, by the way, the prequel to this game, they have a section in the manual. You can just go to and you can see, right, okay, what does the cathedral do? Let me just read that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, got it. Um, you know, or, or what does the prior do? What does the priest do? What does the fort do? Whatever. Um, and it's just nice and clear and simple. And over time, after you look through that manual a couple of times, you'll be able to use the icons on the cards as almost kind of like a memory aid to remember, right, okay, that's what this icon means. Gotcha, gotcha. But you can just always get the information. It's right at your fingertips. That's not what they did here. They, um, actually, that's not entirely true. They did do it for the final scoring things, but they didn't do it for all the other cards. And that's what drives Jen nuts. Because instead of just giving you a clear list of here's what all the cards do, they gave you kind of this Rosetta Stone of, of um, explanations for what the icons mean. And what you have to do is, is you're reading the cards, you have to say, um, right, okay, so this card has this icon plus this icon. And it has this thing between, and so I guess this plus this means this. And it's almost, it's not as bad as this, but it's almost like, hey, let's play a game with a lot of German text. And you know what, oh, um, and instead of giving you, uh, you know, a cheat sheet for what all the cards do, here's a German di dictionary. So if you get stuck, you can just look up the words and figure out what it is because you, you can just actually read the sentence on the card. And it's like, no, just give me a sheet that tells me what all the cards do. Now, this is nowhere near as bad as that, but it's the same basic idea that their, uh, their approach was, well, let's just give them the tools so that they can understand our new hieroglyphic language that we have created for this game. And that was just a bad move because it drives, Jen just could not cope with that at all. You know, in the midst of actually trying to make smart decisions and build her engine and, you know, grab stuff before I could grab it, for her to have to constantly, you know, it's it like, it just triggers a different part of your brain and it would just like completely derail her and write, okay, now what does this icon mean in relation to this and that and the other? Why isn't there just a list? Why don't it, why? You know, and she would just, she just shut down and it just drove her nuts. Um, now, there's a simple solution for this, which you can just go on Board Game Geek and fans of the game have done what uh, Pearl Games should have done up front, which is they have just made really nice player aids that list very simply, very easy to read. The, the, here's a list of all the cards, here's what they do. And you know, here's the errata, so you, you have no problems understanding. And if, if they had just put that in the rules, I don't think Jen would have a problem with this game at all. But they didn't do that. And unfortunately, our printer is on the fritz, so we can't print it out. So we have to make use with this Rosetta Stone. Now, me, I don't have a problem with it at all. I think it's kind of clever and kind of neat. But there are going to be some players out there like Jen who just can't cope with that, and it'll just shut them down. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, definitely, you might want to consider downloading off of Board Game Geek one of the player aids that will make this uh, play so much smooth. You know, I wish I'd done that when we originally played, back when we had a printer, but um, say la vie. Otherwise, though, turn A. 
Fantastic game. What a, again, I, I just come back to it, it's so satisfying. And so compact, so portable, it just does so many things so well. And of that, I think I'm gonna stop right there. And thanks everybody for watching. Comments, questions, concerns, as always, let me know. You know, tell me where mistakes are, notes will get added. And otherwise, have a very, very nice day. Uh, au revoir.